If you're taking a Virgin Cruise, you may have noticed one of the ports they stop at is at their private beach club in Bimini, Bahamas. If you plan to go, you have several options available that could make your day more enjoyable or may not be worth your time. I want to tell you what those are and if I think that it's worth it. The Beach Club at Bimini is a four and a half acre private resort location on the island of Bimini in the Bahamas. When you get off the ship in Bimini, it's quite a ways to the Beach Club from the dock. If you choose to walk, it's probably about a 20 to 30 minute walk from the cruise dock. Virgin Voyages does offer free tram shuttles every few minutes which runs between the dock and the Beach Club with an additional stop on the route at the shore excursions meeting point. If you're lucky enough to be a rock star, you do have choices. You can either take the tram or you have a private shuttle that will pick you up and take you to the beach club. If you take the tram, it stops at a couple locations that you can choose to get off at. The first area is also where you would need to go if you have an excursion booked for that day or if you want to rent a golf cart for the day and drive around the island. This is a little shopping area called Fisherman's Village. The couple of times that we've been there, they really didn't have a lot to choose from and the hours that some of the stores were open were kind of odd. Some of the shops are open, but they did not have a lot to offer there. There is a little convenience store in the back that has a little bit of everything. So if you need some sunscreen or snacks for the day, this is a good spot to stop and restock. The shuttle will stop here on the way to the beach club and on the way back to the ship. Make sure that if you get off here first and you want to go back to the beach club that you get on the correct shuttle or you're going to find yourself back at the ship. Once you leave this area, the next stop should be at the beach club if that's the direction you're going. If you're looking to go to the casino and try your luck there, the shuttle will stop off at the beach club first and then at the casino on the way back to the ship. It will only stop there on the way back and not in both directions like at the shopping area. So let's talk a little bit about the beach club and what they have to offer. If you're there as a normal cruiser and not as a rock star or you didn't purchase a cabana, you still have several options available to you. The beach club includes access to the beach club, transportation to and from the dock, food, soft drinks, including soda and water, sun loungers, and umbrellas. They even have beachside games and activities and Wi-Fi for all the guests. There's a lot of chairs available at the beach and around the pool area where you can relax and enjoy the day. The pool area does fill up fast. If you plan to stay around there, I would definitely get there as soon as possible to make sure that you get a good spot. If you want to be close to the food and the DJ, then when you come into the beach club, go to the right. You want to grab a chair at that end. The food will also be located kind of catty corner off at the end of the pool on the right side. And the DJ will also set up directly at the end of the pool on this end. As the day goes on, they will have a little party time and bring out several pool floaties. The Happenings cast will throw those in at this end of the pool as well. So if you're wanting a pool floaty and enjoy the DJ, this is the best area to go to be sure to get one of those. If you want to relax at the beach, be sure to make your way over there pretty soon. Once all the pool area chairs fill up, the beach chairs is a close second. It doesn't take long to fill up all the chairs at this resort. The chairs in the front row will fill up the fastest. This area is kind of a tight fit with all the chairs being right next to each other. When they fill up, it begins to feel a little bit crowded. If you don't mind that feeling, then you're going to be just fine. I would recommend getting a chair towards the right side of the beach, directly across from the end of the pool. This is where the closest bar is located so you won't have to go that far to grab a drink or a refill. And yes, you can also use your cruise ship bar tab here when purchasing drinks. This location is even one of the closest spots to the food area, so you can grab it all in one trip. If you want to stay all day and into the evening, you can do that for select sailings. The ship remains in port late into the evening to experience the fire and sunset celebration. The event includes music spun by DJs and a nightly bonfire. If you want a little more privacy, I would highly recommend getting a cabana. You can rent these for the day, and they even come with their own dedicated server. If you need food, drinks, towels, or whatever, they are there to make your day that much better. The cabanas come with a $100 drink package that's good on any drink, and they even fit up to four people here. They also come with an adjustable double day bed, a side-by-side -side table, and two cushy beach chairs, drink cooler, and a coffee table. If you are a rock star, you have a few options as well. When you arrive, you will want to go through the main building, then go left towards the rock star area. Just follow the path and the signs over to the rock star area. 
If you would rather stay around the party end of the pool or you don't want to go to the Rockstar area, you don't have to. You can stay here and go the Rockstar area later on or not at all. It's totally up to you. If you decide to go to that Rockstar area, they have several options for you there. Once you check in, you can go to the covered bar area and grab a drink or a snack once they start serving them. If I remember right, this was around 11, 11.30. You also have a private beach area. The chairs are limited and they can fill up fast depending on how many rock stars decide to go to this area. It's not as crowded as the other side of the beach, so there are less of them, of course. The food in this area is the same as what you will find on the other side of the beach club. So if you decide to stay around the pool area and eat over there, don't worry, you're not missing anything special. Even as a rock star, you still have to purchase a cabana. You can purchase them for any of the areas. You don't have to just get them in the rock star area. Unless you just want to be close to the party scene, I would recommend getting one in the rock star area, especially if you're looking to relax and enjoy the ocean. The other areas get pretty loud and crazy at times and can be hard for someone just looking for some peace and quiet. Unfortunately, the Rockstar Cabanas do sell out fast, so if you want one, you should get one as soon as you can. You can purchase these cabanas through the Shore Excursions link online or on your Virgin app. Just make sure to purchase it using only one person's name. If you get a cabana here and you want to go back to the party area, you can do that. Just know that there probably won't be any chairs available, so I wouldn't recommend bringing all of your stuff with you. We experienced the beach club both ways, as a rock star and as a normal guest. I enjoyed both aspects of it, but I wouldn't say that one is definitely better than the other. As a rock star, I enjoyed having a quieter area to relax with our friends over a drink and take in the ocean view. This area also has servers who would wait on you without needing a cabana, so that was nice as well. They would also take your food order and bring it to you so you wouldn't have to wait in line for food. As a normal guest, I enjoyed the party side and the activities they had going on. I didn't mind the crowdedness of the beach until someone started playing loud music from their Bluetooth speaker and wouldn't turn it off. But that's a whole nother issue and not the fault of Virgin. Besides that, we did enjoy just relaxing on the beach. Having the option to go to the pool or the beach and have them close was nice. The food line did get long at times, but it really didn't take that long to get through it. So to give this a fair review, I should tell you what we didn't like and what we felt they need to improve on. So first off, I know they advertise this as Virgin's Beach Club. However, Virgin actually does not own this. They have it contracted. Resorts World, which is owned by the Gentling Group, are the true owners. Virgin worked with the Resort World to design it, but they don't own it. They are given exclusive use whenever their ships are in port, so any issues that you have while there are dealt with by Resorts World and cannot be controlled by Virgin. On days when Virgin voyages are not docked, in Bimini, those spending the night at Hilton at the Resorts World Bimini can enjoy free access to the beach club, while non-Hilton visitors may inquire about a day pass at the front desk. So here are a few things I feel they could improve on to help make the resort a little more enjoyable. I feel like there should be a few more chairs available. There's still plenty of room to add more to the pool area and around the beach. Another thing they could definitely improve on is the food. Don't get me wrong, the food is really good. I just think they need a couple other options that are more suited for a relaxing day at the beach. There are two food stations serve, that serve complimentary lunchtime bites, which include a mix of barbecue options, tropical salads, curries, and fruits. But like I said, the food is delicious. But if you're a picky eater, you may find the menu a little restrictive. Right now, their options are a asado, a Caribbean chicken and coconut curry, banana leaf steamed red snapper, Indian pumpkin curry, you know, Mediterranean salads, watermelon. So you can kind of see that it's nice food, but it's not really what you would think of as beach food. Another thing they could improve on is their bar service. Not only did we have trouble getting served, I heard several other people complaining that it took a long time to get service at the bar. One couple said it took them 30 minutes and three bars before they finally got waited on. I know they are busy and they're doing the best they can, but they just didn't have enough bartenders on staff to handle the amount of people that were there. Those are my biggest issues. There are a few more, but they're really more of a personal preference and really didn't have anything to do with the overall guest enjoyment. If I had to suggest the best way to enjoy a day at Bimini, it would be to rent a cabana. 
They have several locations for the cabanas, beachside, grove cabanas, lagoon cabanas, and of course, rock star cabanas. You would have to find the spot that you really want to spend the day and reserve it as soon as you can. At the time of this video, the cabanas cost $350 per day and came with a $100 bar credit. The regular cabanas hold four people and the Rockstar cabanas hold six. If you split the cost between everyone, or at least between couples, then it really isn't that bad when compared to other excursions that you would take during the day. And with the $100 bar tab, that helps a lot as well. We had a cabana on one of the trips and set at the beach on the other. The trip with the cabana was a lot more enjoyable, just having a place of your own to relax and the staff who waited on us. If you're looking to get the best experience possible, then for us, this was the way to go. Overall, Bimini is a great way to spend the day, with excursions and other options available. Even if you don't want to spend the entire day at the beach, you can find something to do. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified of our next videos. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next adventure.